I'm here to introduce the 40B, the butt mortise plane. This is a unique tool and it allows the easy installation of hardware such as hinges, lock sets, and strike plates in a fraction of the time it takes to use a router and a template. There's also a scrub blade available. This allows for the rapid removal of material if you have a situation such as trim mounting onto an uneven wall where you need the moldings to mate flush. Let's go over the components of the tool. This is a plane for heavy removal. It has a wide open throat to allow the shavings to clear easily, but also gives an open view of the work area as you're taking your cuts. There's two knobs that allow for a firm grip and control of the tool as you're taking your cuts. There's a cap iron which clamps the blade in place. And like all bevel down blades, we recommend a 30 degree secondary bevel. There's no depth adjuster. The plane is going to be set to specific depths, which we'll go over in a moment. If you do need to make fine tune adjustments, I use a four ounce cross bean hammer to bring the blade down gently. Setup is simple. When installing hinges, place both on a flat surface. Lay the plane across the hinges, which establishes the depth of cut, and drop the blade down to the surface. This makes sure that you get the depth of cut and a parallel setup to the sole of the plane. If you have a single hinge or a strike plate, lay the hardware on the sole of the plane and bring the blade down flush to the hardware. With the blade set flush to the bottom edge of the hardware, you again guarantee depth of cut and a parallel setup to the sole of the plane. A deep mortise should be cut in steps. Do not try to do it in one pass. Start at half the desired depth and work your way down to the final setting. This plane will guarantee a flat square mortise every time. Layout is also important. I've already laid out one hinge mortise here. Here's how I went about it. I'm going to line up the bottom of the hinge with the top of the rail. Then, with my marking knife, I'm going to describe the perimeter of the hinge. I want to make sure I have a nice crisp line at the back of the mortise. So I'm going to use a marking gauge to set that. This gives me a good line to pair to. With the chisel, I'm going to define the depth of the mortise and also give me a crisp line to work to. I now want to pair back leaving a clean line to work down to with the plane. Now starting at one end and working in small chopping motions, I'm going to come to the other end of the mortise. I try to work with the grain wherever possible to avoid tear out. In this case I can't.
Once I get to the other end, I'll use a cross grain cut. To define the corner. And there's our fit. Flush and clean every time. The same basic techniques will be used for any shallow mortise. When working in small or narrow stock like we were here, you may find that direct pressure over the tool body itself will give you more control and stability than gripping the front knob. An application of camellia oil will keep rust at bay. In the event that you need them, replacement parts are available upon request. I hope you enjoy using this tool as much as I do.